Problem six. Human centrifuges are used to train military pilots and astronauts in preparation for high G maneuvers in uh, planes and spaceships. A trained fit person wearing a G suit can withstand accelerations up to about nine G's without losing consciousness. So um, if you're uh, experiencing large accelerations in a fighter jet, uh, the blood can drain from your head down to the lower part of your body. And so uh, that causes you to, to pass out, which is not a good situation if you're trying to fly a plane. Uh, with some training, you can do techniques like squeezing your, your um, midsection and your legs to try to constrict the blood vessels so that you don't lose as much blood from your brain. And you can wear a G suit that is a compression suit on the lower portion of your body to prevent blood flow. Okay, if a human centrifuge has a radius of some number, what angular speed gives you 9 g's of centripetal acceleration? Alright, so remember centripetal acceleration is v squared <coughs> over r and v is r omega. So you can write centripetal acceleration as r omega squared. <coughs> and we want to find omega. So that is ac over r square root. What linear speed? would a person in the centrifuge have at this acceleration? Okay, well that linear speed is r times omega. All right, and so that's, that's all the calculations for the problem. Not a whole lot of calculations, but uh, I think the situation is, is interesting. Because um, if you're flying in a circular path, well, there's two ways that you can experience um, big accelerations like this in, in flight. One is the linear acceleration. I guess that's more common for astronauts who are just launching straight up in a rocket or space shuttle. Um, and the other acceleration you can experience is centripetal if you're flying around in a circle, which might be more common for, for fighter pilots. Either way, the effects on your body are about the same, where blood will flow from your top to your bottom, and you can pass out. 